Impermanence, also called anicca, anicca, anicca or anitya, is one of the essential doctrines and a part of three marks of existence in Buddhism. The doctrine asserts that all of conditioned existence, without exception, is transient, evanescent, inconstant. All temporal things, whether material or mental, are compounded objects in a continuous change of condition, subject to decline and destruction. The concept of impermanence is also found in various schools of Hinduism and Jainism. Anicca or impermanence is understood in Buddhism as the first of three marks of existence, the other two being dukkha, suffering, pain, unsatisfactoriness, and anatta, non-self, non-soul, no essence. All physical and mental events, states Buddhism, come into being and dissolve. Human life embodies this flux in the aging process, the cycle of repeated birth and death, samsara, nothing lasts, and everything decays. This is applicable to all beings and their environs, including beings who have reincarnated in Deva God and Naraka hell realms. This is in contrast to Nirvana, the reality that is nikkha, or knows no change, decay or death. Impermanence is intimately associated with the doctrine of anatta, according to which things have no essence, permanent self, or unchanging soul. The Buddha taught that because no physical or mental object is permanent, desires for or attachments to either causes suffering dukkha. Understanding anicca and anatta are steps in the Buddhist spiritual progress toward enlightenment. Etymology <inaudible> 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 word anicca is a compound word consisting of a, meaning non, and nikkha, meaning constant, continuous, permanent. While nikkha is the concept of continuity and permanence, anicca refers to its exact opposite, the absence of permanence and continuity. The term appears in the Rigveda, and is synonymous with anitya a plus nitya. The term appears extensively in the Pali Canon. <laughs> Buddhism Anicca doctrine is one of the foundational premises of Buddhism, which asserts that all physical and mental events are not metaphysically real, that they are not constant or permanent, they come into being and dissolve. Impermanence is one of trilakshana three marks of existence. It appears in Pali texts as, "...sab sankara anicca, sab sankara dukkha, sab dhamma anatta," which Sturek translates as, all conditioned things are impermanent, all conditioned things are painful, all dhammas are without self. Everything, whether physical or mental, is a formation, sankara, has a dependent origination and is impermanent. It arises, changes, and disappears. According to Buddhism, everything in human life, all objects, as well as all beings, whether in heavenly or hellish or earthly realms in Buddhist cosmology, is always changing, in constant, undergoes rebirth and redeath. Samsara. This impermanence is a source of dukkha. This is in contrast to nirvana, the reality that is nikkha, or knows no change, decay or death. <inaudible> Hinduism The term anatya, anatya in the sense of impermanence of objects and life, appears in verse 1.2.10 of the Katha Upanishad, one of the principal Upanishads of Hinduism. It asserts that everything in the world is impermanent, but impermanent nature of things is an opportunity to obtain what is permanent nitya as the Hindu scripture presents its doctrine about Atman soul. The term anitya also appears in the Bhagavad Gita in a similar context. Buddhism and Hinduism share the doctrine of anicca or anitya, that is, "...nothing lasts, everything is in constant state of change." However, they disagree on the anatta doctrine, that is whether soul exists or not. Even in the details of their respective impermanence theories, state Frank Hoffman and Degel Mahinda, Buddhist and Hindu traditions differ. Change associated with anicca and associated attachments produces sorrow or dukkha asserts Buddhism and therefore need to be discarded for liberation nibbana, while Hinduism asserts that not all change and attachments lead to dukkha and some change, mental or physical or self-knowledge, leads to happiness and therefore need to be sought for liberation moksha. The nikkha permanent in Buddhism is anatta non-soul. The nitya in Hinduism is atman soul. Topic: <laughs> Quotations. The five aggregates, monks, are anicca, impermanent. All is impermanent. And what is the all that is impermanent? The eye is impermanent. Visual objects, ruapa. Eye consciousness. Eye contact, kaku samphasa. 
whatever is felt as pleasant or unpleasant or neither unpleasant nor pleasant, born of eye contact is impermanent. Likewise with the ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind SN volume IV, 28. All formations are impermanent. In arts and culture Akio Jisoji's Buddhist auteur film Mujo also known as this transient life owes its title to the doctrine of impermanence. Impermanence is the title of a novella by Daniel Frisano. See also Reality in Buddhism Three marks of existence Hojoki Mano no aware The tale of the Heike Wabi Sabi Heraclitus Omnia Matantor Sic Transit Gloria Mundi Tempora Matantor Philosophy of Space and Time References External links The Buddhist Philosophy of Universal Flux by Satkari Mukherjee All About Change by Thanissaro Bhikkhu Three Marks of Existence by Nyanaponika Thera Time and Temporality, A Buddhist Approach, Kenneth K. Anada, 1974, Philosophy East and West.